Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things of beauty. And today we are decluttering my... Mm, what part of the collection concealer collection so I just filmed a declutter for my foundation collection and I explained the whole thing I will link it over here so you can check it out and just going through my foundations inspired me to also go through my concealers because I needed to get rid of some old products some that I wasn't using and then remind myself of what I actually own what's in my collection like what can I use because I have my tried and true like go-to products on my desk like directly in front of me but I have others like off to the side that I'm not paying attention to so I wanted to remind myself of what other concealers I have in my collection and also get rid of some of the old ones so if that sounds good to you and you want to see me declutter my concealer collection let's go ahead and jump right into it all right so here is my concealer collection yeah I know it's quite a lot and I knew I had a lot of concealers but I didn't realize just how many I had so I think it's a good time to go through everything and do a pretty solid declutter I don't know how many I'll get rid of but we're gonna see all right so let's start yeah let's start with each drawer so here we have this set of concealers and I'm thinking I can get rid of a few right out the gate so this Morphe concealer, getting rid of it, don't care about Morphe. This Danessa Myricks Vision Cover Cream, as much as I want to get into this, it's just inconvenient in this packaging. I don't like, I, I just don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of that. The Dior, I'm thinking, ooh child, ooh child. <laughs> The Dior, let's see. So there are two shades. I do like it, but I just don't find myself reaching for it a lot, which is a good sign that I'm not in love with it. I mean, it's a good concealer. It is, right? But I just don't use it a lot. Oh, that's a good color for highlighting. And then this shade, let's see the dark shade, because if it's too dark, I definitely won't know. So let's get rid of this shade. It's way too dark. And then this is Ilia. I don't know that I love this concealer. Well, you know what? That's my shade match. I just don't know that I love the Ilia products. Um, I, whoo, child. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that on the side and think about it. We'll see about the Ilia one. The KVD Beauty, I do like these. Um, the darker one though, let's see. Is the darker one too dark? No, that's my complexion. So we'll keep the KVD ones. Then I have the LYS, which I do like. I need to pull these out more. I haven't been using them a lot. This is a really light shade. I hate the packaging, that's my thing. DN3. So that's like a light, can ooh, that is really pink. That is, yeah, that light one, that's like, you know what I mean? I can't even use it for highlighting, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. So even though it says N as in neutral, it's very pink. Then I have DN3 and TN6. I'll keep those two. And then my Milk Concealer which is actually not a bad concealer. Again, the packaging just leaves a lot to be desired. I'm gonna get rid of that because it's separating and it smells. So let's toss that one. And my faux filter concealer from Huda Beauty. Let's see what this one has going on. Let me swatch it over here because the I can get rid of that. It's too dark, I don't care. It's a little bit too pink as well. Oh, that was better than I expected. So in that case, 
No, I'm not gonna do it yet. Let's pull the other one over, the other drawer. My Givenchy is definitely staying. It's new, I love it so much. That's actually going top drawer, love it. My Quickie Concealer. Listen, from Urban Decay, love these as well, so they are staying top drawer. Then we have Morphe 2, we can get rid of that right away. This Pure Cosmetics one, we can get rid of right away. This CoverGirl, ew, look, it's separated and nasty, out. And what else do we have going on? Um, I think for now, yeah, I feel like we can get rid of this one from Estee Lauder. I feel like we can now. It's nice though, you know? It's just like, it's a nice concealer, but I'm not wearing it. I'm not using it. Um, Actually, let me think about it. Let, let's think about it. Let's just, Marc Jacobs? Oh God, let, let's get rid of Marc Jacobs because that is definitely old. I know the Estee Lauder is old too, but let's think about those. This NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. It wasn't a bad concealer. And it's a lighter shade. And I like having a lighter shade around in case I want to do like a highlighted situation. Oh, that's a good one for a highlight. I'm going to keep that one out. There's this little trick where you highlight the bridge of your nose and you can leave the concealer down the bridge of your nose to set almost completely and then just barely blend it out. And I feel like I want to use that for that exact trick. All right. What else do we have? These, oh God. So the It Cosmetics, I know this one's too dark, so let me get rid of that one. I just got them in PR, but I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna use them. Okay, the Ulta Beauty Concealers, these weren't even opened. I'd gotten these to use as eyeshadow bases, but I'm just, I'm not, oh God, I'm not using them, right? I have not used them, I'm using my NARS. So, you know what, let me try. Let me open the lighter one and see what it looks like. Yeah, that that's not gonna work for me. I'm just gonna get rid of these two. And then we have my Makeup Forever Full Cover. It's old school, but I still like it. And we also have this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin one. Let's see, what's this talking about? Ooh, child, mm-mm. That looks very peachy. What shade is this? 5.1? That is nasty and orange. I don't want it. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Like, you're rude. You are rude. Turn up the base one size. Hmm. Let's see here. That's a little cute. It's a little cute. Ah, I can keep that one. Not a problem. All right. Let's see, Skin Mimetic from Make Beauty. It's a very light concealer, but I'll keep it, and then I'll keep the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Let's see the shade, let's swatch it out again. I know we just got rid of the dark one, but let's see if this is even a deep, no. You know what, it's still too dark. I feel like, yeah, they sent me way too dark, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. All right. We have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. That's cute. Okay, we're keeping that one. And then this, oh God, oh God, it's dripping all over the place. This is the Tarte Double Beauty, what is it called, Shape Tape. <laughs> this is a light shade, right, that I would use to lighten up other concealers or using that highlight trick, I'll keep that one. That's not bad. All right, let's see what else we have. This is my go-to tray on this side. So we have my Dior Skin Correct, keeping that. We have the Il Maquillage, keeping that. These are all like my go-to concealers. Fenty, love that. We have the Tarte Power Flex, love that as well. I have another Fenty. Listen, Fenty, oh, by the way, go get my palette. <laughs> There's gonna be a Christmas in July sale for Sydney Grace, so definitely check them out. We have, ooh, Lawless, conceal the deal. What's going on here? 
Okay, Lola's. I can. I have not used you, so I'll be more aware that you're there. Kosas, love. Rare Beauty, love. No, not Rare Beauty. This is, who is this? Rose Ink. <laughs> Rose Ink, yeah. Then we have, what's this? Morphe 2, can get rid of that one. These are the Clinique Concealers. Love these, keep in both shades because both work. Item Beauty. So Item Beauty was discontinued, child. They are no longer around. And this can, mm, I can get rid of this. It's kind of separating. It's a lighter shade. And I have, mm, I don't know. Let me smell it. Nah, I can get rid of it. It's not a big deal. This Maybelline Superstay, I'm getting rid of that. That's so awful. It burns. It's nasty. I hate it so much. Then we have Sephora Best Skin Ever. We're keeping that. No question about it. Let me put my Can't Stop, Won't Stop over here as well. This one is the Amico Lay. I have two shades. I'm keeping this too. And then we have NYX and ELF. So ELF, these are correctors, so I'm going to keep those. And then the NYX Bear With Me, I like this as well. So I'm going to keep that. And what do we want to do with these three that I wasn't quite sure about? Hmm. Ha, 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 ha. <coughs> Decisions, decisions, decisions. I can empty a drawer if I got rid of them, but these are my problem. Like, I don't use these, but why do I want to keep them? Because they're so liquidy and nice. No, I feel like these are too old. I'm going to get rid of them, and then I'll just keep the Ilya one. Yeah, I feel like that's a good enough compromise. So now I can have one drawer that looks like this. Um, how do I listen? Listen, okay. I need this to make room, make room. Yeah, that that's fine. That's fine. So I have an empty drawer and concealer everywhere. Um oh god. And then this. Okay. That's not bad. So here are the concealers that I am keeping. That's not bad at all. It's manageable. This one stays on my desk to the side and then this is a drawer. I'm happy with that. So here's what I'm keeping. And here's what's going. I think I did a pretty good job with that. What do you guys think? I think that is great. Like, that's a lot of concealer to get rid of. Like, think about it. So, there you have it. Let's go ahead and wrap up the video. Alright guys, so there you have it. I must say, I feel pretty good about this declutter. I got rid of some concealers that just were taking up space. I wasn't using them. Like, why do I have them in my collection? Let's get rid of them. Some of them were dried out, expired, just ugh, get rid of them. But it also served, again, to remind me of the concealers that I have in my collection. And I added a couple to my rotation that will be up front in my collection, on my desk, and ready for me to use. So kind of rotating through some of my collection, which is a good thing, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let let me know what you think. I don't know that I'm gonna do a full collection declutter. There's no other portion of my collection that I really want to declutter right now, but we'll see how it goes. Like if the spirit moves me, I might do some more declutters, but so far we did foundation and concealer and I feel pretty good about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you should be following me along and until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.